Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Well, I had a failure with this front end idea because that bolt, it uh, loosens up when you turn. Then I had another idea. I want to see if I can try to use the big tire using these little pedals. My idea is to cut these off, get rid of them completely, and then replace them with this angle iron set up from the landscape trailer. So I'm going to cut off this stuff and then see if I can't rig something up. So I cut the angle iron that was off that uh, landscape trailer. I put it on the bike, front wheels. And uh, figuring I'm gonna cut it off right here, just right in front of the bolt. And then I only need like 12 inches long this way. So let me get that cut. Alright, I got that angle iron off that landscape trailer and I cut it up into pieces because I'm trying to make uh, my own front end for the big wheel instead of the little tire. My wife says it looks better with the big front wheel. So what I decided to do is uh, I was thinking about cutting, cutting these arms completely off, get rid of them, and just only have the circle thing there. I'm going to get rid of this too, but I can't get that bolt. I already put my tools away. So, uh, this, this is going to be uh, welded to that piece right there on the bottom here. That's what the plan is today. But uh, I cut the angle iron here. Put it on the two pieces here on each one on each side. Like that. You can get a visual there. Bolt it to the axle. Then I got a piece right here that's going to go when I get a drill again. I'm going to bolt that to that so it holds those two together. And in the middle, I'm going to drill a hole. And then the hole will be in the middle here. And then I can put this over here. I got to drill another hole. And this already has a hole that'll sit like that. That's the plan. Uh, and then this, we'll get, I'll drill a hole in this, drill a hole in this, and then drill a hole in here because I can put a bolt in here. And then I'll put one of those locking bolts so it can't come undone. Because I got about a quarter of an inch on the inside there. So I'll be able to bolt the front end together with angle iron, which is a hell of a lot stronger than this, because this one's already broke on me already. I'm trying to adjust it to get it under the wheel, and it cracked on the inside, so those are gone. The only thing I'm going to use is this round thing, just for the crank, crank arm assembly right here. And, uh, and then I still got to figure out how to get this to the gooseneck bolting. So, I'm still trying to figure out how to do it without welding. Uh, this F front axle here, I, I can do that with bolting together. That one's no problem. And I can you know, drill holes, because this angle iron is really strong. Just drill holes in it, and then bolt some uh, locking bolts on there so they don't come undone. And that's going to be really, really strong. The bike's going to be heavy, but it's going to be strong. And then uh, I still got to figure out this has to be welded somehow. I mean, there's no doubt about that. That has to be welded. So that's it for today. I pulled a double today. I finished my uh, number 11 video earlier, about two hours ago. And I took a break and took got something to snack on. 
And then I said, my wife came out to wash her car. And I said, man, I'm gonna go outside, keep her company. And uh, that's what I did. She played the music and washed her car. And I, I worked on this new idea I got here. So this will be a number project uh, 11. And because uh, the back end is done, all I gotta do is bolt those things in and they'll, they'll also quit moving around. So I'm focused more on the front now. And uh, that'll do it for me. Time to go take a shower and eat dinner. I'm getting tired.